Okay, so for this video, we will be having some examples of the problem that we may encounter related to our previous discussion, which is the symmetrical parabolic curve. Okay, so let's have an example. A grade of negative 4.2% intersects a grade of positive 3.0% at station 11 plus 488 of elevation 20.8 meters. These two center grade lines are to be connected by a 260 meter vertical parabolic curve. At what station is the cross drainage pipes be situated? If the overall outside dimensions of the reinforced concrete pipe to be installed is 95 centimeters and the top of the culvert is 30 centimeters below the subgrade, what will be the invert elevation at the center? Okay, so una sa lahat, i-convert muna natin yung worded problem in, into an illustration. So i-drawing natin yung figure based sa given values. So we have a negative 4.2% back tangent that intersects a positive 3.0% forward tangent. So obviously, ang makikreate nating uh, curve dito is parabolic sag or sag parabolic curve or the curve opening upward. And the sabi dito, ang length niya is 260 meters. So ito yung PC, ito yung PT, and ito yung point of intersection. So, sa problem, nagbigay ng specification ng ating PI. Sabi dyan, the point of intersection is at station 11 plus 488 and at elevation 20.8 meters. So, ang unang tanong is, at what station is a cross drainage pipe to be situated? So, obviously, itong cross drainage pipes ay sa lowest point natin nilolocate. So, in this case, we are looking for the stationing of the lowest point. So, bago yon, bago natin makuhin lowest yung stationing niya, kailangan muna natin malaman yung location niya, which can be denoted by S. It's either S1 or S2. Depende sa reference. S1 kapag from PC, S2 kapag from PT. So, i-drawing natin yung grade diagram, although we can readily um, use the derived formulas para makompute yung required values Pero for us to better understand the concept, i-drawing natin yung grade diagram. So, i-plot lang natin yung given grades. So, we have a negative 4.2%. So, that falls below the reference axis. And a positive 3.0%. So, that falls above the reference axis. So, i-connect lang natin siya using a line. This is the point of intersection, point of zero grade, which is also the point of or the lowest point. So, if this is S2, this is S2. And if this is S1, this is S1 as well, which you can express in terms of S2. So, that would be 260 minus S2 since ang total length ng curve natin is 260 meters. Okay, so using ratio and proportion, kunin natin yung value ng S2. We have 4.2 divided by 260 minus S2. That is equal to 3 divided by S2. So, using your calculator, S2 is equal to 108.33 meters. Okay, so, uh, since ang horizontal distance between PC and PT is 260 meters, and we know that PI is midway between those two points, we can say that PI or the horizontal distance between PI and PT is 130 meters as well. So, to get the stationing of the lowest point, we have stationing of the point of intersection, so yun yung magiging reference point natin since yun yung my known stationing. So that would be stationing of PI plus 130 minus S2. So bumalik tayo sa lowest point. From PI, pumunta tayo kay PT, then bumalik tayo kay lowest point. So i-substitute lang natin yung values. We have stationing of PI is 11 plus 488 plus 130 minus S2 which is 108.33. So, wag yung iperform yung uh, operation dito sa loob ng parenthesis kasi ito ay representation lang ng stationing. So, kapag in-input siya sa calculator, that would be 11,488 plus 130 minus 108.33. So, the answer is 11,509.67 or 11 plus 509.67 since we are talking about stationing. And that is our final answer for our first question. 
Next, if the overall outside dimensions of the reinforced concrete pipe to be installed is 95 centimeters and the top of the culvert is 30 centimeters below the subgrade, what will be the invert elevation at the center? So, i-magnify lang muna natin itong point of itong lowest point. So, ito 'yon. And directly below that, nandiyan yung ating cross drainage pipes or yung culvert. So, yun yung reinforced concrete pipe na ginamit as o na ginamit ang material as cross drainage. So, ito 'yon. And yung invert na tinutukoy dito is yung bottommost part ng ating culvert. Ang sabi dyan, the specification of the culvert, its outside diameter is 95 centimeters or 0.95 meters. And the vertical distance between the subgrade at the lowest point and the topmost part of the culvert is 30 centimeters or 0.3 meters. So from the figure, we can say that the invert elevation is equal to the elevation of the lowest point minus 0.3 minus 0.95. So in this case, kailangan muna natin kunin yung elevation ng lowest point. So the elevation of the lowest point is simply equal to the elevation of PI plus B minus A. Again, ang reference point natin is yung point of intersection since yun yung my known elevation. Ano ba yung B and A? So ang B sa figure is ito. That is the vertical distance between PI and PT. And A is the area bounded by the lowest point and PT sa ating grade diagram. Since it also represents the difference in elevation between lowest point and PT. So, elevation of lowest point is equal to the elevation of the point of intersection plus the vertical distance between PI and PT minus the vertical distance or the difference in elevation between the lowest point and the point of emergency. So, by formula, B is just G2L over 2. So, ang ginamit lang natin dito ay slope formula. And then for A, this is just the area of the shaded portion sa ating grade diagram. So, that is G2S2 over 2. So, i-substitute lang natin yung values. We have 20.8, yun yung elevation ng point of intersection, plus 0 0.03 times 260 divided by 2 minus 0 0.03 multiplied by 108.33 divided by 2. And our answer is 23.08 meters. So, ito ay elevation pa lang ng lowest point. Ang hinahanap natin ay invert elevation. So, i-substitute lang natin siya sa equation. We have invert elevation equal to 23.08 minus 0 0.3 minus 0 0.95. So, the answer is 21.83 meters. Next, let us have another example. A descending grade of 6% and an ascending grade of 2% intersects at station 12 plus 200 whose elevation is at 14.375 meters. The two grades are to be connected by a parabolic curve 160 meters long. Find the elevation of the first quarter point on the curve. So, i-drawing muna ulit natin yung figure. We have a descending grade of 6%. So, we have a downward slope, downward slope yung back tangent. Then, that intersects another grade line whose slope is 2%. So, obviously, sag parabolic curve ulit yung ating makikreate na curve dito. So, yung, yung distance niya or yung length niya is 160 meters. This is PC, this is PT. This is the point of intersection. Okay, so yung speci specification na ibinigay ulit ng point of intersection, we have its stationing at 12 plus 200 and its elevation at 14.375 meters. So, ang hinahanap is elevation of the first quarter point of the curve. So, quarter point, it would have been first one-fourth ng curve from PC. So, that would be 160 divided by 4. So, ang hinahanapan natin ng Elevation is the point along the curve 40 meters from PC. Let us denote th that by capital letter Q. Okay, so i-drawing ulit muna natin ang grade diagram. I-plot lang natin yung given grades. We have a negative 6% grade, so that falls uh, below the reference axis. 
and then a positive 2% grade. So, that falls above the uh, reference axis. I-connect lang natin siya using a line. So, magkakameron ulit tayo dito ng point of intersection. That is also the lowest point. Okay. So, this is S1. This is S2, which you can express in terms of S1. So, that would be 160 minus S1. Pero pwede mo namang uh, kunin ang value ng S2. So, yung S1 naman, i-represent mo siya in terms of S2. So, that would be 160 minus S2. So, in this case, pinili kong kunin yung value ng S1. So, by ratio proportion, we have 2 divided by 160 minus S1. That is equal to 6 divided by S1. So, by using your calculator, S1 is equal to 120 meters. Next, so for the elevation of Q, we have the elevation of PI, again, since yun yung may known elevation, yun yung magiging reference point natin, plus A minus C. So, alin ba dito yung A at C? So, yung A is yung vertical distance between PC and PI. And C is the vertical distance between PC and Q, which is also equal to A. So, yung A na yun is yung area bounded by points P, C, and Q sa ating grade diagram. So, ito yun. Meaning, kung kailangan natin kunin yung value ng area nito, kailangan natin malaman yung grade at point Q or yung G sub Q. So, Ah, uh, kunin muna natin yung value ng A dito sa ating equation. We have A equal to G1L over 2. So, using slope formula. So, we have 0 0.06 multiplied by 160 divided by 2. A is equal to 4.8 meters. Next, kunin muna natin yung value ng GQ para makuha natin yung value ng C, which is the area of the shaded portion. So, GQ divided by 120 minus 40, so using ratio and proportion. That is equal to 6 divided by 120, so we have G sub Q equal to 4%. So alam na natin yung value ng GQ, makukuha na natin yung area ng shaded portion sa ating grade diagram. So we have G1 plus GQ multiplied by 40 divided by 2. 0 0.06 plus 0 0.04 multiplied by 40 divided by 2, so the answer is... 2 meters. So, yun, yun, yun din yung difference in elevation between PC and Q. So, isubstitute lang natin yung values na nakuha natin sa ating main equation. We have elevation of PI that is 14.375 plus 4.8 minus 2. So, the answer is 17.175 meters. Next, let us have another example. A grade line AB having a slope of positive 5% intersect another grade line BC having a slope of negative 3% at B. The elevation of points A, B, and C are 95 meters, 100 meters, and 97 meters respectively. Determine the elevation of the summit of the 100 meter parabolic vertical curve to connect the grade lines. I drawing muna ulit natin yung figure. We have grade line AB. So, yung slope niya is positive 5%. So, ascending. And, it intersects another grade line, BC, which has a descending grade of 3% or negative 3%. So, um, the elevation of those points are 95 meters, 100 meters, and 97 meters respectively. So, from that, pwede natin kunin yung difference in elevation between points A, B, and point B, C. So, that is just 100 meters minus 95. So, the difference in elevation between A and B is 5 meters. And vertical distance between B and C is just 100 meters minus 95, 97. So, that is 3 meters. So, since alam natin yung vertical distance and slope, pwede na rin natin kunin yung horizontal distance. Using slope formula, so we have 5 meters divided by 0 0.05. So, so the horizontal distance between A and B is 100 meters. And same with BC, we have 
3 meters divided by 0 0.03, so that is 100 meters as well. So, ang sabi dito sa problem, determine the elevation of the summit of the 100 meter parabolic vertical curve. So, yung length ng vertical curve natin is 100 meters lang. And the horizontal distance between A and C is 200 meters. Meaning to say, points A and C are not necessarily the end of the curve. Hindi siya yung PC and PT. So, the end of the curve is... PC is somewhere between A and B, and PT is somewhere between B and C. So, i-drawing natin. This is 100 meters. So, ito yung curve. This is PC. This is PT. And we know that the point of intersection, or in this case, point B, is midway between PC and PT. So, from PC to B is 50 meters. So, if that's so, the horizontal distance between A and PC is 50 meters as well. So, half of, uh, I mean, 100 meters minus 50. And same with the horizontal distance between PT and PC. Okay, so, i-drawing muna natin yung uh, grade diagram. I-plot lang ulit natin yung grade lines. So, we have a positive 5% grade line and a negative 3% grade. So, i-connect lang natin siya using... A line. So, ang hinahanap is yung summit. So, yung summit is also the point of zero grade. So, yung point of intersection dito sa ating diagram. Yun yun, Highest point. Or the summit. So, let's say this is S1. This is S2. Which you can express in terms of S1. So, that would be 100 minus S1. Okay. So, by ratio and proportion, makukuha natin yung value ng S1. We have 5 divided by S1. That is equal to 3 divided by 100 minus S1. So, nineglect natin yung uh, sign ng ating grade or ng slope since ano naman to, ratio and proportion. So, from that, we have S1 equal to 62.5 meters. So, for the elevation of the highest point, that is simply equal to so, ang ginawa kong reference point dito is yung A. So, we have elevation A plus X plus C. So, ano ba yung X dito? That is the vertical distance between A and BC. And yung C naman is yung vertical distance or the difference in elevation between the highest point and PC. So, the elevation of the highest point is simply elevation of A plus X plus C. And in this case, C is also equal to the area bounded by points PC and HP sa ating grade diagram. Okay, so for the value of X, gagamit lang ulit tayo ng slope formula. So we have 50G1. So that is equal to 50 multiplied by 0 0.05, 2.5 meters. And then for the value of C, we have... Uh, the area bounded by points PC and the HP. So that is simply G1S1 over 2 or 1 half G1S2. I mean 1 half G1S1. So substitute lang natin yung values. We have 0 0.05 multiplied by 62.5 divided by 2. A is equal to 1.56 meters and that is also the difference in elevation between PC and HP. So, substitute lang natin yung values sa ating main equation. We have elevation of A, 95, plus 2.5, plus 1.56. So, the final answer is 99.06 meters.